hello my dear students good evening it's a great time to meet you on our course English language one we have headway unit one part two uh, in the last lecture I explained uh, some questions some patterns of uh, dialogue and uh, some ideas I hope that uh, lecture is quite clear if you have any question please let me know uh, today I have two pieces of advice the first piece is related to your health please stay at home when you are ill don't go away don't mix with other people try to keep social distance uh, try to wash your hands and use your own uh, things like handkerchiefs and so on the second piece of advice is related to your study try to study right from the beginning don't waste time don't waste time try to study step by step right from the beginning and arrange your ideas so that you can understand your lessons and answer the questions uh, later on you will be able to do very well on uh, the exams uh, now I'll continue I resume my talk about uh, unit one we have today uh, a passage uh, course it's called welcome to our world we have two uh, families one from Kenya and the other from Bolivia we have here uh, yes uh, yes Kenya and China so we have two uh, families uh, I mean these two families uh, have different uh, ways of living uh, we'll uh, discuss this in um, uh, on pages t uh, 10 and 11 we have uh, the reading passage uh, as I have said uh, the first uh, part talks about a family from Kenya we have here father uh, mother uh, and of course daughter and yes uh, two daughters yes. Uh, the second one is here uh, from China we have father mother uh, yes uh, uh, yes so we have two different ways or style lifestyles before you read we have reading and speaking a world uh, apart they are different discuss these uh, questions about your family number one who is your uh, I mean family uh, yes uh, immediate family that is your father and mother and uh, uh, sisters or brothers uh, name some of your extended family that is related to your grandfather grandmother your uncles and aunts and sometimes you can have cousins 
uh, who are your uh, close I mean close to I mean the family members who are very near to your uh, environment uh, who live near you and you deal with them directly who do you live with now do you live with your uh, father your mother or both uh, who did uh, I mean you grow up with uh, yes did you grow uh, with your father or your mother or um, your sisters and brothers we have here profiles to uh, families from very different parts of the world who is in the family where do they come from what do they uh, know about their countries they live in another country in a different country and uh, of course we have to uh, ask ourselves about uh, their ancestors uh, their family uh, original family or original country yes and your uh, groups answer these questions about the camos or the coals yes uh, wh where do, uh, do the, they live what are their homes uh, like the shape of their homes uh, do they live in a flat or a house yes how long have they lived here or there yes how long uh, what uh, jobs do the parents do does the father work does the mother work what of, of a kind of work do they do do they earn much money uh, do they support themselves uh, do they have sufficient money enough money to keep their family what do they uh, spend their money on do they spend their money on uh, housing on food on medicine or in education uh, sometimes on vacation on holidays on a travel what do you learn about uh, the children what do they do uh, do they uh, I mean for example uh, do something uh, good for their health for their mind for their education how long have the, uh, the parents known each other the parents the mother and the father I mean have they been uh, friends for a long time and so on what do they learn about other members of the family what do you learn about the other members of the family uh, their uncles their aunts grandfather grandmother and so on what hopes and uh, ambitions do the parents have for their themselves and their children their dreams their hopes for the future yes work with uh, a partner from the other group compare uh, and uh, swap information about the families and uh, and their motives what similarities and differences uh, can you find are the families similar in what way are they similar in what way are they different hmm. 
how uh, have their uh, lives changed over the years? I mean, uh, did their uh, lives change? And how uh, have their, their lives changed to the better or to the worse? Have they made progress? What regrets and worries do they have now? Uh, are they worried about the future? Are they, uh, I mean, they, they regret about the past? Did they, they make mistakes? Uh, we have, uh, uh, of course, these uh, uh, passages, uh, and the message we have, the families are uh, happiest. Um, yes, when they have a bit of uh, spare money. Yes, uh, we have uh, this family uh, motto, I try to do your best at all times. Here we have, uh, under the passage, we have the family uh, are uh, happiest when they are together. And the, uh, and the evening family uh, motto uh, save money uh, live uh, simply uh, I mean care for your uh, friends uh, tell the truth these are motives uh, we have a, a vocabulary work uh, find uh, the six uh, yes here highlighted words in your uh, text work out uh, the meanings from the context match the words uh, to the meaning and that chart we have here uh, the camus those come from Kenya we have here uh, yes someone who uh, makes clothes uh, we have here with only uh, one floor uh, here an old uh, house uh, yes we have here uh, shared by a group of people uh, we have broken and worried the uh, coups from China loved and treasured uh, weak and uh, <clears throat> yes, unhealthy. Uh, uh, narrow lanes, uh, knocking down buildings, close and uh, caring. We have uh, economically. Yes, that's, I mean, related to. Uh, the passage uh, what do you think yes in what ways are those families uh, typical or their uh, of their country what is uh, a, a typical family in your country uh, is there uh, truth uh, Yes, oh, so, is there such a thing? Uh, is your family uh, typical 
why or why not so you can speak about um, about your family uh, do, do, do you live do you have a large family a big family or a small family you have an immediate family that means you have one brother uh, one sister and uh, two parents or do they you do you live uh, with an extended family with your uncles uh, aunts cousins grandfather and a grandmother now we change to uh, the part of listening and speaking everyday English page uh, yes uh, 12 and 13 yeah um, a world in one family do you ha do you know anyone who has uh, married uh, someone of another nationality do they ha uh, have uh, any children tell the class look at the photos of the family there are uh, three uh, of course uh, nationalities in uh, the family uh, how can this be yes uh, we have a dialogue here what nationality are expire and his uh, parents Anna and uh, yes uh, and we have uh, how did expire expires uh, father, uh, parents meet it, it uh, gave details why did they decide to live in England right when did uh, they I mean when did when and why did expire first uh, notice uh, his nationality uh, why uh, were uh, weren't expire and James uh, yes bilingual and uh, yes and it should as a children yes uh, where they and I mean uh, I mean they came from they came from another country let's say that they came from China but in England they do not speak Chinese they speak English so they have no connection with China as a result they are not fluent in Chinese so they are not bilingual because their father their parents do not speak Chinese at home how many times has expired been uh, to Bolivia that is how old was he how many times has uh, uh, James uh, been to Bolivia uh, these questions can be answered when you refer to uh, the world of one family in one family yeah so we have a world in one family all right so uh, uh, so this is I mean quite amusing and interesting Right now we turn to uh, vocabulary section. What is in a world? We have meaning. Uh, the word uh, here we have uh, ogi. It can be an adverb, an adjective, a noun, or a verb. Uh, for example, 
my grandmother is very uh, old and huggy means here active but so she can't get out much uh, she uh, gave me my grandfather's gold watch I'll uh, huggy huggy uh, it forever I'll keep it as a verb um, the poor people le lived uh, crow uh, uh, lived uh, crowded together in uh, uh, August in uh, the old part of the city. Yeah, August here is a uh, is a noun. Yes, that means slums. Uh, number four, they can't afford to buy meat and fish. They live very uh, uh, ugly and uh, on rice and uh, potatoes here very frugally is an adverb um, now if we turn to uh, these uh, prefixes we have here res ion ing ive uh, and uh, if it is my grandfather is 84 but he is still very uh, I mean active my sister um, is an actress she is often on TV uh, action is not always uh, or actors uh, uh, actress is not a well paid job uh, this is not a uh, time to do nothing it is time for action number five we do a lot of uh, activities in class uh, right we have here a uh, cosmopolitan uh, to match here yeah, match word from a um, to line in b cosmopolitan city well paid job a uh, close net uh, here uh, close net uh, we have a family um, a drive carelessly uh, fall in love when a race uh, the final uh, the final exercise today is related to everyday English we have uh, number one uh, I uh, need to make uh, appointment it's uh, I mean uh, quite urgent I've uh, lost a feeling so we have to look for number one we have a cancellation this afternoon uh, 2 uh, 45 is that okay okay that's right uh, number two uh, we have a medium lot and a muffin uh, please yes so this must be for have you have here or to go uh, number three uh, I can't make uh, the meeting um, uh, stuck in a traffic so uh, number three never mind uh, we'll start without you and brief you later number four we have can you uh, put in your pen number and press enter that's number four we have uh, oh no I can't remember my number for this card uh, uh, what is it number five uh, uh, sparkling or, st uh, or still uh, do you uh, want to I do want ice and demon. Uh, 
in it. Uh, number five, we have uh, sparkling, please, ice, but no lemons. Number six, I can't think you are, you have, uh, we have, you have met a Greg. Uh, he is uh, uh, joining us from our uh, New York office. That's number six. Uh, Hello, good. Uh, uh, meet you. I have heard a lot about you. Number seven. How many bags are you checking in? Number seven. Uh, just one. One bag. Um, number eight. The lifts on your right. Uh, would you like someone to help you with your luggage number eight no thanks i'll manage number nine uh, we have please hold your call is important to us uh, all uh, i mean um, our operators are busy now quite busy if at the moment but uh, one of them will uh, be with you uh, shortly. Uh, number nine, if I have to listen to that again, I'll go mad. Number 10, yeah, yes, number 10, there are a still Tickets for the 545 uh, performances, but uh, the 849 is sold out, I'm afraid. Uh, right, uh, we have here uh, number 10. Uh, Right, the concessions. We have concessions uh, this afternoon at 2.45, uh, if that's okay. All right, so we have uh, covered the whole unit, and that's the end of uh, this lecture. Please, if you have any questions, let me know. Uh, thank you for joining me. Goodbye and see you next lecture.